we see the world full of colorful things, we can actually perceive hundreds of thousands of colors. But have you thought about how the other creatures see the world? I'm talking about birds in particular. Until the end of 20th century, it was unknown to the scientist community that bird vision was different from human vision. But a study conducted in 1970 and it revealed that birds can actually perceive ultraviolet light that human cannot. We actually see everything based on light spectrum that's red, green, and blue. Then the response from the scientist community was subtle, but in the following decades, more studies conducted and everybody acknowledged birds can actually perceive more colors than human. In human vision, corn cells are responsible for color vision. We have two sort of cells in your retina. The one is corn and roar. The roar is responsible for vision in low light. And corn consists of three sort of photoreceptors, red, green, and blue. And there's no red, green, or blue photoreceptor. Photoreceptors can actually detect short, medium, and higher wavelengths. Visible light extends from 400 to 700 nanometers. When yellow light strikes cones, there's no specific receptor for yellow, but yellow is dispersed between red and green. So both receptors get activated and send signal to brain to distinguish the color. But birds have an additional color cone that makes four. And what's the significance of four to cone? It can detect UV light. And it's a kind of like a mixture of RGB vision plus UV light vision. That helps not in their vision to see more details and colors. And this vision in birds called tetrachromatic vision. And our vision is trichromatic because we can perceive up to three colors or three sort of wavelength. And they can up to four because they have four photoreceptors. And birds can benefit this in several ways for foraging food and finding out predators, finding mates and distinguishing genders and for so many other things. Bird vision have five cones including four single cones and one double cone. Single cones as well as one or both segments of double cones contain an oil droplet. This oil droplet are thought to act as cutoff filter or other theories are it reduces chromatic variation and enhancement of contrast. This structure also helps avian to tip the scale. We see the world full of colorful things and we keep enjoying that. But their vision is more colorful and more detailed than ours. Back in 2007, some scientists from the United States analyzed the difference between some sort of birds from different gender. Those birds had a significant difference in appearance in terms of color that humans cannot perceive. This helps them to figure out opposite gender and finding perfect mates, etc. Back in 2020, some scientists from Princeton University come up with a new research that some sort of wild hummingbirds can actually perceive even UV yellow, UV green, and purple than UV red, which means they see more colorful world than usual. This can happen in human too, which means tetrachromatic vision is possible in humankind. Back in 2012, an Australian lady claimed she can actually perceive more colors than human. She has four cone receptors, not exactly just like a bird, and it's scientifically proved she has four photoreceptors in her cone cell. And how does it happen? Because of genetic mutation, and women in particular. A normal human can see up to one million colors, whereas she can perceive over 100 million colors or 99 million colors, which means 100 times more than a human vision. And how does it happen? Obviously, some things that is related to DNA. And men has XY chromosome, whereas women has XX chromosome. They have two X chromosomes. So a mutation in the X chromosome would end up getting one additional photoreceptor. That's why she got that. But this could mostly even happen in females in contrast with males. And this condition is called tetrachromacy. So she can perceive over 100 million colors. But what happened when X chromosome in men mutated? Basically, it will end up getting color blindness uh, because we have only one X chromosome. So basically, most of the color blind people in the world are men. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, then you can subscribe my channel. See you next time. Bye.